Ever wondered how some of the world's top CEOs manage their finances and build their wealth? It's a question that's crossed many minds and it's about time we delve into the fascinating world of top-tier financial management. Imagine being a fly on the wall in the offices of Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, known for his long-term investment strategies. Picture yourself listening to Elon Musk, the fearless innovator, as he shares his thoughts on taking financial risks. Or how about sitting across from Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, as he reveals his customer-centric approach to business and wealth. These industry titans have not only built empires but also amassed significant personal wealth. Their strategies, their philosophies, their approach to risk and reward, all offer valuable insights to anyone seeking to enhance their financial acumen. So are you ready for a deep dive into the minds of these financial maestros? Let's dive into the financial wisdom of these giants and see what we can learn. Warren Buffett, one of the world's richest men, has some simple but powerful principles when it comes to finance. Let's start with the first principle, investing in oneself. Buffett has often been quoted saying, the most important investment you can make is in yourself. Whether it's learning a new skill, expanding your knowledge, or improving your health, Buffett believes that investing in yourself yields the highest returns. Because after all, it's you who's in control of your destiny. Moving on to his second principle, investing for the long term. Buffett is known for his buy and hold strategy. He once said, if you aren't thinking about owning a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. This long-term perspective has allowed him to weather market fluctuations and reap the rewards of compounded growth. Patience, it seems, is not just a virtue, but a wealth-building strategy. Lastly, Buffett is a firm believer in buying what you know. He has often been quoted saying, never invest in a business you cannot understand. This means that before investing in a company you should understand its business model, its competitive edge, and its industry. This principle has guided Buffett in his investment decisions, and has helped him avoid costly mistakes. A story that perfectly illustrates this principle is when Buffett invested in the Washington Post in the 70s. Despite the stock market crash, Buffett saw the intrinsic value in the company, because he understood the newspaper business. He invested heavily, and the rest, as they say, is history. So there you have it. Warren Buffett's three key principles when it comes to finance. Investing in oneself, investing for the long term, and buying what you know. They may seem simple, but they have been the cornerstones of Buffett's investment strategy and they've helped him amass a fortune. Buffett's principles are simple yet they've helped him amass a fortune. What if you applied these to your financial life? Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla and SpaceX has a different approach. He's a risk taker. Now when you hear the term risk taker, you might picture a gambler haphazardly throwing dice on a craps table in Las Vegas. But Musk's risk-taking is far from a game of chance, it's calculated, strategic, and daring. It's a willingness to bet on himself and his ideas even when the odds seem stacked against him. Consider this. In 2008, when the world was in the grip of a financial crisis, Musk invested his own fortune into Tesla and SpaceX. He was so committed to his vision that he risked personal bankruptcy. He once said, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Musk's financial philosophy is not about playing it safe or sticking to the traditional playbook. It's about innovation, pushing boundaries and transforming industries. It's about creating value in the long term, rather than focusing on short-term profits. He believes in the power of his ideas so strongly that he's willing to put his own money on the line to bring them to life. Musk also has an uncanny ability to rally investors around his vision. Despite the ups and downs he's managed to secure significant funding for his ventures, he's not just selling products or services he's selling a vision of the future. And investors it seems, are buying. But let's be clear, Musk's approach isn't for everyone. It requires a high tolerance for risk, a deep belief in your vision, and an unwavering commitment to see it through. And of course it doesn't guarantee success. As Musk himself said, failure is an option here. If things are not failing you are not innovating enough. Musk's risk-taking has paid off in a big way. Could this approach work for you? Take a moment to ponder. Would you be willing to bet on yourself, even when the odds seem stacked against you? Are you ready to take calculated risks to achieve your financial goals? Only you can answer these questions. But one thing is certain, no risk, no reward. Then there's Jeff Bezos, the man who built Amazon into an e-commerce giant. His secret? A relentless focus on the customer. When we talk about Bezos, 
We're talking about a man who revolutionized retail, yet his approach wasn't about reinventing the wheel, but rather, about understanding the wheel's user. Bezos is known for his belief in customer obsession, not competitor focus. To him, the customer is the cornerstone of every decision. In Bezos' own words, customers are always beautifully, wonderfully dissatisfied, a trait that drives constant innovation. He believes that even when customers are happy, they want something better, faster, or cheaper. This unending dissatisfaction is what fuels Amazon's continuous growth and expansion. And it's not just about the here and now. Bezos is a firm believer in long-term thinking. He once said, if we think long-term, we can accomplish things that we couldn't otherwise accomplish. This long-term perspective is evident in Amazon's financial decisions, from its constant reinvestment into new sectors to its willingness to endure short-term losses for long-term gains. Bezos's philosophy extends to his personal wealth management as well. He is known to invest in ambitious, forward-thinking projects such as Blue Origin, his space exploration venture. Just like Amazon, these projects are driven by a long-term vision, rather than immediate returns. It's clear to see how this customer-obsessed and long-term approach has driven Amazon's success. It has allowed the company to diversify into numerous sectors, from cloud computing to entertainment, and has propelled Bezos himself to become one of the wealthiest individuals in the world. This philosophy isn't just about financial gain though, it's about building something that lasts, something that makes a difference. It's about seeing beyond the immediate, understanding the value of patience, and the power of a satisfied customer. Bezos's customer-first approach has yielded significant financial rewards. What could this mean for your financial strategy? So we've heard from three of the world's top CEOs. Now how can you apply their wisdom to your finances? Let's start by recapping the golden nuggets of wisdom we've gleaned from these financial gurus. From Warren Buffett, we learned the importance of sticking to what you know and investing in companies that you understand. Buffett's philosophy is about playing the long game, being patient, and allowing your investments to grow over time. From Elon Musk, we learned that risk is a necessary part of financial growth. Musk's approach to finance is about pushing boundaries and not being afraid to invest in innovative, disruptive technologies. It's about betting on the future, even when the future seems uncertain. And from Jeff Bezos, we learned that putting the customer first is a cornerstone of financial success. Bezos's financial wisdom is about delivering value to your customers, which in turn drives profit and growth for your business. So, how can we apply these principles to our own financial management? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Firstly, take a leaf out of Buffett's book and invest in what you understand. Research and educate yourself about the companies you're investing in. It's better to own a small piece of something you know than a large piece of something you don't. Secondly, don't be afraid to take calculated risks like Musk. Invest in the future and in technologies that have the potential to disrupt industries. But remember, it's about calculated risks, not reckless gambles. Lastly, remember Bezos' mantra. The customer is king. Whether you're running a business or investing in one, always consider the value it delivers to its customers. A company that prioritizes customer satisfaction is likely to be a profitable one. To wrap it all up, remember that these principles aren't just for the financially savvy or the business-minded, they are universal guidelines that can help anyone, regardless of their financial background, to make smarter financial decisions. Remember, finance is a tool, use it wisely, and it can help you achieve your dreams. With these tips from top CEOs, you're well on your way.